Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make vegan vegetable spring rolls. These are so delicious and perfect for the weather. It's warming up a little bit. We have an extra hour of daylight here, at least in the US. I'm really happy to be having some nice veggies and fresh things right now. So these are absolutely perfect. And they're really easy to make, really easy to customize. You can pretty much use anything you want, but I'll just show you today my way of making them that's super delicious. So yeah, let's get into the recipe. Let's start off by taking our tofu block. I'm using firm tofu that I had actually frozen for this. You can use frozen or fresh. And I'm going to cut it into a bunch of little long rectangles. So I'm just gonna cut the tofu block into a few pieces, turn it over and then cut those into three pieces. So now I have these nice long strips. They just fit into the spring rolls better. And then we're gonna make our peanut sauce. So I'm adding a quarter cup of peanut butter. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of maple syrup one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of water. This sauce is so easy to make, but it is so delicious. And just whisk that all up. It's gonna be pretty thick and that's okay. You can add more water in if it's bothering you, but I like it a little bit thicker. It makes a really nice coating on the tofu. So in my pan, I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of sesame oil or you don't have to use oil if you don't want to. I just like to move it around a little bit with my spatula get the pan nice and coated, let it heat up for a minute or two. And then we're gonna add in our tofu. I'm doing this on a low, medium heat. If you do it too high, the tofu is gonna like burn, so you don't wanna do that. So I just kind of rub it a little bit in the oil and I'm just gonna stick them all in there. We're gonna squeeze them all in. And freezing the tofu makes the consistency a little bit better in my opinion. But like I said, using fresh tofu is totally fine. So just let those cook for a few minutes. They're gonna turn nice and golden brown, as you can see. And then I'm just gonna flip them over to another side, let them cook. Normally I do this with my fingers, which is why I was struggling with the tongs, but I don't wanna advocate for using your fingers near heat. <laughs> so it's gonna look something like this while it's cooking. And then I'm just tossing them again. You can get them as crispy as you like. You know, it's up to your preferences. And then we're just gonna add our sauce on there. And as you can see, it is really thick, but I like it better this way. I think it's really yummy and just toss to coat them in it. Once they're all coated, remove it from the heat. I cut up a bunch of fresh veggies. You can use whatever you want, but I have green onion, spinach, a cabbage blend, cucumbers, and bell pepper. And then these are our rice paper rolls. You can find them at Asian supermarkets. I'll link some ones on Amazon or Whole Foods or in the international aisle of your big food stores. So for this, all you do is just take it, dip it in some water. I like to use a very big plate that kind of has a lip on it like this drop any excess water off and I don't like to put it in the water for too long because then it might rip. I do it for like maybe five seconds on each side and then we're going to add our spinach down first. I like to do this first because I feel like it kind of helps the roll to stay together a little bit better. In my opinion, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. And I'm keeping this outer edge empty so we're going to kind of create a little rectangle inside. Then I'm going to add my cabbage, the cucumber, bell peppers, really in no specific order. You can do this however you want. my green onion, and then one to two pieces of tofu. And you are gonna now fold it up. So I'm just kinda like tidying it up a little bit so it's really nice and in there. And then you're gonna fold up one side and then you're gonna fold in the other. And then you take the bottom and you fold that up and then you just kind of use any chipotle burrito wrapping skills and get it all in there and roll it up nice and tight. Leave it alone for a few seconds, let it kind of dry out, and then you can cut it in half. And it looks something like this, and it's delicious. And now you just have to make the rest of them. I really love spring rolls. They're easy to customize. They're really healthy. And once you get the hang of wrapping them, it's not that hard. And like I said, just keeping them in the water for less time, I find it's helpful because the vegetables have water in them. So it just, I find it easier if they're a little bit on the drier side. Then I like to add a little fresh lime juice to them just kind of adds a nice bright flavor to all the veggies in there use up any of my green onions that i have left over just sprinkle those on top and some white and black sesame seeds for 
For the dipping sauce, I just basically used the same recipe that we used for the peanut tofu and I added some red pepper flakes in. I'll have it linked down below, everything written out. And these are them all done, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. So many colors, so much texture and flavor and you just get this nice crunch from the veggies. It's delicious. All right, guys, that was our recipe. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, the full recipe is on my blog. There's a link for that in the description box, as well as all the ingredients listed down below. If you like my videos, you already know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really helps the channel out. If you make these, tag me on Instagram. I love to see your recreations, and I always share them on my stories. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you on Sunday with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.